That's scary. That comes down. Look at that. They do pair up, they're monogamous. This is it, this is how it starts. I got kids, I got kids. <laughs> the it's become a workshop again. Rob was screaming in the shower. Hey folks, welcome back to day six. Get them back down that corner. back in the garden again today we've noticed that since moving the table away from the house it's now uh, getting a lot more sun and to rig up a little bit of poly pipe archway with some shea cloth on top this is our project today yeah no oh, baby 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 yep so i got the bigger poly pipe yeah that will slide over those star pickety things put the star pickets in the ground in the floor oh yeah and then we'll just go. Then put over the star pickets. Yeah. I mean, it's, it wouldn't be easy, but I'm sure a woman of your calibre. So, are we going to do four star pickets or just do flat across the back? Four star. I mean, maybe. You're five star, <laughs> but that's only four star. All right. You ready then? I'll go and get some bigger. I don't think they can start thinking to go through it. I don't think they would. Well, why don't you find out? Okay. See? No. No. No see. Okay. Bigger poly then. And two more mouse and pickets. Alright, I'll water the big you can water me too. veggie garden. Okay. Tea? Or coffee? Ginger ale and lemon it is. Yeah. Rob's gone off hunting for something. Check out this passion fruit vine. Let's hope we get a bumper crop. Cheers, Millie. The big stuff. Okay. Look at that. How's that? Wow. You happy with that? That's amazing. Rob doesn't like it kinky, so we've got to take this one back. It's not kinky, I just don't like it then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing while I was gone? Leave you alone for two minutes. What? Nothing? Nothing. Your conscience calling. Put that camera down. <laughs> How will we put the shake cloth on? That's what I need. Requires a few more tools. We're just having a bit of trouble getting the fabric right, so we're going to put a piece of timber across the top so these two archways are parallel and then we can have a nice neat straight shea cloth no and towards the zip tie yeah. further really yeah about there <laughs> Heading out to pick up some keats. We've been waiting for a while to get some guinea fowl. We've been pretty busy, but uh, today's the day. Today is the day. So we're picking up eight. We have our two boys at home already, and a lot of these are females, so that's Lucky good. Boys. Lucky boys. They do pair up, they're monogamous, and they keep the same mate for a lifetime. So we're hoping to um, get a few couples and get some breeding happening. What are we doing when we get back? Uh, we've got to pick up 
pick up <laughs> fix up the pen. Uh, got to put a perch in. I put one perch in there. Got to fix up a bit of a hole. It's kind of a temporary thing because it's even though I've been wanting one for a long time, we've been putting off doing it simply because we're so bloody busy. And all of a sudden, kaboom, there's some available really close by. Uh, the pen's ready to go, just little bits that we need to in, like a big hole. That's nothing to worry about. <laughs> branch. And um, put some water in their pen and um, just a bit of sunshade. So and that's really it. So we've got the cage in the back ready to go and uh, as soon as we pick them up we'll give you a look. That was fun. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to catch these poor birds and they're all fluttering around the whole cage. Now they're all exhausted and uh, stressed out of it. Stressed. We're going to sit them in the shade where the boys hang out and uh, get their cage ready, get them some water and some feed and settle them in for the night. Yeah, well I was just, uh, I was just thinking when I was driving back, this is it, this is how it starts. We started with a big move and uh, we got the pigs and now we've got the guinea fowl. Yeah. Let the games begin. Yeah, let's do it. So what have you got to say for yourself? Yay, I got kids! I got kids! I got kids! <laughs> Let's just go and have a look at them then. They're a bit scared. Hay bale twine comes in handy for everything. Hey birdies. There they are. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Let's leave them there, then settle. Can you put them down in the shade? Okay. Right. I'll, uh, I'm going to go and fix that up. Sorry guys, it's scary, isn't it? Okay. I'm sure there's eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's definitely eight of you. We thought we only got seven and one got away and we'd have to go back tomorrow, but we have eight. Hi piglets. Hello. 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 The boys have just heard the bow. His heckles are all up on the, his neck. Just like dogs, aren't they? Gotta be in on everything. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've got a little gap at the bottom we need to fill. <laughs> the boys have just heard the new keeps. Let's see how this pans out. Or the electric fence. <laughs> Back off a bit. Well, look how tall he's standing. We've got some friends. He's Pigs are happy now. Guinea fowls are a hardy little bird. Their meat is absolutely exquisite. They're very popular in Europe and uh, not so popular in Australia, but gaining popularity. That's a female call, isn't it? Yeah. We're really pleased there's some females amongst this lot. They'll be confined to the cage overnight so we can collect their eggs and incubate them. 
They are renowned for not being very good mothers. They do reject their eggs. They're in. We couldn't film it, obviously, because we had our hands full. Uh, but here we are. The moment. Now, do I take them out or allow them to come out? Allow them to come out. So you kind of want to tip it on its side. Otherwise, they're not going to fly out of there. Pigs are coming to say hello. Yeah, I don't blame them. Nine. There's nine birds in there. Yeah. I've got nine birds in this cage. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Oh, mate. Oh. See, so look over the birds. They're coming at you. Quick, turn around. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. They're coming at me. Quick, before he gets the paddle up, he locks me in here again. <laughs> That's the third time away. this week. <laughs> Job well done. They don't seem to be able to get out. No. So that's good. We'll um, put some nesting boxes in, maybe a bit of straw. Rooster, they've got rooster there. So yeah. I don't know if they're going to be happy on that rooster. It needs to be further back. Oh. Oh, one's out. Is it? No, it is. It's really close to getting it. The little, little one. So they'll stay in there for a couple of weeks and then they should be good to come out and play with the big boys. Hey, piglets. We're getting through this grass. It's been good because we've been able to reduce their food supply ever so slightly because they have lots of grass to eat. Happy family. Eve's pretty interested in them, isn't she? Well, she wants that food. <laughs> How can I get to that bowl? <laughs> you two would have to be the most spoiled pigs ever. Keeps back in safe and sound. Look at these guys. Back of the ute's become a workshop again. I'm going to use these to block the bottom so the little ones can't escape again. Boys have headed up to roost. Little ease are settling down. 1340 will be what? Right. Little gap. We've got some fillers. Okay, I'm going to grab a board straight away. They must have showered with this little guy. Rob was screaming in the shower because this guy was in there with him. <laughs> you feel safe in there now? Yeah. cows are in our yard. How are we going to get them back without Betty getting through to their paddock? Push Betty, you use Rocco to push Betty up. Yep. You push them up, up and then I'll um, open the gate. Okay. Oh hello. <laughs> idea how they got in here. That's yeah. Come on, Betty. I might um, get on the quad and go and check the fence line. 
Yeah. To get them back down that corner, I'm on the quad, Rob's on the pony. We're gonna herd them in. So Betty got through with the other cattle into the neighbor's yard. No sign of her now. Um, he's gonna work for the day and I'm not going tracking on 1500 acres with a couple of stallions especially on my boy and I'm bareback so uh we just leave her in there for the day she can have fun with her mates come on Rocco <sighs> what's your day like today <laughs> It looks like the cattle have been pushed through this fence, probably by wild dogs. We've seen and heard a few around recently. Thankfully, Rocco and Betty didn't escape and we got them safely home. So, disaster averted. It'll be a patch job today. Rebuilding this fence is a job for another day. Right now, we've got other fences to check. So we've had some wild dogs come through today and rummage through our outside bin while we were out shopping in the middle of the day. So we're just checking this electric fencing, making sure it's on so our little piggies are safe. We don't want any wild dogs coming in and disturbing these guys. Definitely a big storm coming in. Can hear ticking. Definitely ticking. Deb's gone to get the tester. Isn't that a beautiful sight seeing them munching on the grass? Hello. 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 So this is a water dispenser that Rob and I designed. It works with the vacuum method. So the water fills until it reaches the holes in the side and then it stops until it's drunk by the birds. Then more water is released down the pipe and it continues to fill until the pipe is empty. Comfortable happy birds now, aren't they? Yep. Feed them delicious vegetables and they want to eat the bird seed. Look at that wind's picking up. Storm coming. The way they come running when they see us. Just testing there. Putting the earth in. It's starting to rain. You're going to put some water on the earth. Five. Pretty good. Wow, it's not amazing. Oh wow. That's scary. That comes down. Yeah, the tree's gonna come down. Wind 
Sunday. Hopefully that'll keep our keep safe should that branch fall. It is directly above their cage. Looks like the pigs have gone to bed. How amazing. Can't see her. There is nothing wrong with starting small. Everybody's happy down here. It's so peaceful. Who loves a scratch? The proper bridge you make in a duchy, you know? Two, four, six, eight. They're all together, babe. Oh, nasty. It's like a big fat marshmallow. Boop. Now that I've made this amazing loaf of bread. <laughs> what the heck? Is that? <laughs>